What's up YouTube? Snatch Beto here with Tactic of the Day number 13. This game was played in 1975 between Augustine and Lanz, or Lanz. Um, if you would like some time solving the position yourself and you would like to do it over the board, the link for the game on Lee Chess is in the description. If you would like to calculate in your head, feel free to just pause the video um, and I'll resume the video in a moment. Okay, so in this position, um, white plays a really stunning move. I don't know how to explain it, but it basically threatens mate on the d7 square. And it comes with that threat and one other one. Bishop e8. A great move. Now, the point being, we're threatening mate on d7, correct? So, first you ask, why can't we just take the bishop? And it's because of rook e8 check. And after the king comes down to the 7th rank, rook takes rook. And white is up two rooks, or he's up in exchange, if we compare this rook to this bishop, and a free rook. So white's up huge amount of material, and there's no mating net on this king. Um, the white queen can always come to the fourth rank to help protect. Um, so there's no checks. There's not even a check here on g4. So that's that first variation. So after bishop e8, there's only one real way to defend. If you play king c8, you're going to get mated anyway. After queen d7, king b6. Queen takes this pawn with check, only moves king here, check, pawn blocks, and mating. So that mating net is in effect if the king tries to run away to c8, uh, to c7. If it tries to go to c8, we go check here, and then mate again. So really there's no way to escape with the king. And note it can't come down to this file because the rook on e1 is doing a great job of holding that file down. So the king can't run. And it can't take the bishop, so logically the only move to defend the d7 threat of checkmate is queen f5. And the next spectacular move, which you really had to know before you played bishop e8, was rook e6, exclam. Putting a blockader in the way of this queen, so the queen's interrupted and she can't actually see the d7 square anymore. And the queen is once again threatening checkmate. And the same variations exist if the king tries to run. There's no change there. Uh, so the rook is forced to take the bishop. And we follow it up with rook takes rook. And we go into the exact same variation as before. Um, one other line that's important to note is after rook e6, if pawn takes here, it's still checkmate. And you might be wondering what happens if queen takes rook and it's actually pawn takes. And we're still threatening checkmate. We've still got the same threats if the king tries to run to either of these two squares. And except this time, the bishop still can't be taken because the pawn, a great resource, is now covering d7, and it's still checkmate. So after bishop e8, <laughs> a really crazy good move. Um, there's nothing black can do to hold on to material, and they basically have to give up after queen f5. And after rook e6, they have to give up the material here because this queen is really strong on this file. And now we have a free rook and an exchange. So white is clearly winning. And once again, there's no checks against our king on these files because the queen on a4 is a surprisingly strong piece. So the best black can come up with is taking a pawn. But you know, this isn't really helping. This rook is just going to escape, maybe play a check here, and it's just all over for black. So I hope you guys like that tactic. It was a little long-winded and it would have taken a bit of calculation for you to get there. So I hope you took the time to do it. And if not, I uh, hope you took the time to watch this video. If you need to watch it again, please go for it. I think I've covered all the variations. If not, make sure you leave me a comment in the, in the YouTube comments and I'll um, either analyze it or I'll talk to you about it. Um, make sure you're, if you like the video, make sure you like the damn video. Uh, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Stay classy. Peace.